brought me to Alabama State University. I have my family attend the ASU, and I really wanted to continue the ASU legacy in my family. So I decided to come here as my HBCU. I would say, well, me being an education major, ASU has one of the best education programs. So I continue to stay here because the professors really care for you, and it really helped me with my future career. Well, my time, it was a little difficult because that's when the pandemic happened, as soon as I transitioned to the education major. So half of it was still virtual, but when we came back face to face, I really got to, I would say, be hands on, like going to elementary schools, doing field observation hours, and getting the field of the classroom life and seeing my future career as a teacher. I would say when I had to take lead as a golden ambassador at one of the president's galas, and I didn't know what to do, but I had to put on my thinking cap and guide the right people to the right areas, introduce myself, make sure that the president had what he needed to, and just make sure everything was set and situated, and that really motivated me to the person I am. I would have went a little left because I was before, when I first came to Asia, I was very shy, so me being a shy person, I would have just kind of ducked off from the situation and just tried to block myself out of it. My mom, because she calls me every single day, say, are you up for class? How was class today? I'm like, it was good, it was good. And she checks on me, like, everything okay with your classes? She said, I know, it's like, the, uh, you're almost finished with school, and I know what senior right is, you get a little lazy. I said, I'm keeping up with my work, still submitting everything on time, doing what I have to do to prepare for graduation. And the impact, what made an impact on me? I would say when I was a sophomore, and I still don't know to this day, a professor nominated me to become a member of NSLS. And back then, the teacher would have to nominate you. And I was like, they nominated me because they must saw my leadership skills, of course, my academic skills, and that really, it really impacted me. I was Miss Golden Ambassador this year. That was really, really a highlight of my year because I was like, wow, I got selected. I was really excited because I love being a Golden Ambassador and to represent Miss Golden Ambassador, that really, really stuck out to me. I got to meet people with all different majors, like education majors. I got to meet educator, education majors, I mean, teachers that have been in the field for 40 years. They were able to give me some pointers on what to do in the classroom. They um, offered to be my mentor because my freshman year, I didn't have a mentor, so I didn't have anyone to guide me, give me pointers. But I became a mentor on campus my sophomore year, and I was able to help my mentee with her classes, because we were the same major, give her pointers, keep her encouraged, because I know some days you don't want to feel like going to class. So I gave her pointers, always checked in on her. I was like, do you need me to help you tutor anything? Do I need to look at your grades to keep you right? And luckily she's doing very well right now. I would say my leadership skills being in all the organizations I'm in. And a lot of students can't say that they were in all like gold ambassador for two years, being a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha, NS Celeste, and Precious of Beauty. Cause a lot of students, they look up to you and they look at your roles when you're in those positions. And they're like, wow, I really want to be like that person. Being, showing great leadership skills, enthusiastic, just making college life fun for people. My amazing personality, my leadership skills, and just like the fun, lovely person I am. Just remember my face when they see me. Best moment of my life. Because those hard, hard four years finally come into a close. And it's been an amazing four years and just to walk the stage and get my degree, it's the best feeling ever. Making my family proud, all my friends, finally crossed the finish line. I would say the challenging part, it would be preparing for SEPA, which is educational standard in my test because those really determine if you're gonna do your internship in our field. And that was very stressful because I wanted to make sure it was correct and I scored the right percentage on it so I can continue my education journey. Tell a freshman. I would tell them when they first come, please stay on top of all your business because you don't have your family here guiding you what to do. Just stay on top of everything, continue keeping up with your courses, your grades, and making sure everything goes on track so when it's time for you to like go into sophomore year, you have everything that's in order. I believe really opportunity is here. You have to look and dig for those opportunities and see how would you relate to the opportunity that is given to you. And you can really leave 
a legacy here. You just really have to really look for it and have trusted and faith in it. I'm around my sisters every day. And to like graduate, not being able to see them every day now. A little emotional. They're like, I'm literally with them 24 7. We always hang out every day, I'm always with them. And for Friday, that's gonna be my last time seeing them for a while. So we normally, after the commencement, we normally sing our hymn, basically um, us going our different paths, saying our last chant, because some of us, we don't come back for like homecoming, Labor Day Classic, because a lot of us, we have a lot of big goals coming up and like after these years. So it's gonna be a while until we see each other again. Half of us were the same major, so we always have study groups, we always push each other. When it comes to assignments, we work together, we stick together all the time. If one of us is down, we're all down. If one of us is upset, we're all set. Like, we're right by each other. Like, we help each other. We're always there for each other. One call away, they're gonna answer the phone. We just grow together. A lot of my professors tell me that I, I will be a great teacher because of my attitude and my passion towards teaching because I really love students, even though some of them may irk you a little once in a while, but I still care for all the students. I want to make sure that all are successful in their school days. So that's why I really stick by them. I'm encouraging them, even if I know some of them are not on the same level, but I'm still going to stick by the students. Help more Hornets achieve their goals and dreams. Donate today.